guys, today we are at Made in Asia in Gorkum. The con season has started again in the Netherlands, so we're gonna have a good time. I'm just as Kasabiza from Naruto, one of my favorite villains. And I'm gonna be showing you around inside again. Let's go have fun. This is the second edition of Heroes Made in Asia in Gorkum. I went to the first edition last year and you can check out my vlog from that as well. Check out the link on screen. And the convention has changed a bit compared to last year. The gaming area is quite different from last year as well. As is the addition of the cosplay village on the second floor of the convention. It's definitely bigger than last year. And there are also more people. But with all the new additions and the new space, it didn't really feel overcrowded. Last year I only went to a single day of the convention, this year I decided to go for the entire weekend. I feel like some conventions are more one day cons and so are worth going for the entire weekend. Like Gameforce last year was definitely a one day con and so are most car events. But at Made in Asia I could really easily feel, I could easily feel the entire weekend and not be bored. Of course a big part of going to conventions for me is meeting all my cosplay fans. And a lot of them had a stand in the cosplay village this time. And I'm happy to see my friends succeed in growth. Right, That's uh, nice to see. Off what makes Made in Asia better than many other conventions? The food. A lot of the a lot of those conventions like those Kong Con only have the, the classic convent the standard convention food of some fries, of some a sandwich, something like that. But Made in Asia actually has proper food. Having karage with Daikon now already had takoyaki, okonomiyaki, gyoza, yakitori so having a good time trying different Japanese foods definitely something that uh, that makes this con stand out even more from its competitors so itadakimasu I didn't really spend much time in the gaming area this time around the main focus there was fighting games like Smash and Dragon Ball and there was also some free play areas with PCs as well there was a League of Legends King of the Hill tournament which was uh, pretty cool, a 1v1 stage where you could uh, battle random people at the convention and defend your position as King of the Hill as long as possible. I think that's a pretty cool concept and but those aren't really my games right now. So I didn't really participate in that part of the convention this time around. Last year they had some racing sims which I think are always fun but they weren't there this time around which is a shame. They might not have had any virtual cars, but at least they did have some real ones, fun to randomly see. So a set of Itasha cars covered in anime waifu finals. I wouldn't put that on my car personally, but I do think they're interesting. Overall, I really like this convention. The feeling and the mood of this event feels nice and friendly, more than the Dutch Comic Con. It feels a bit more small scale, less overcrowded, the way it's decorated, the way the venue is lighted, it all feels a bit more cozy. Dutch Comic Con has gotten a bit too massive in my opinion and a bit too overcrowded so this is a nice change of pace. Like I said earlier another thing that makes Made in Asia stand out so much is the addition of actual proper food, loads of delicious Asian dishes from different stands and food trucks freshly prepared so much better than the standard normal con food they have at other conventions. Of course the dealer hall is not enormous but I still found some nice loot last year as well. Heroes Made in Asia has definitely become one of my favorite conventions of the year and if you've never been to a cosplay convention in the Netherlands before and you're doubting about which one to go to first, I do highly recommend going to Made in Asia over Dutch Comic Con. And now it's time to show off my loot. And here we are boys, end of the day, back in the car, second day completed as Gojo from my dress up darling. Very chill cosplay, basically some pajamas, so uh, did most of the filming today for all the all the b-roll stuff had a good time just a very chill day overall and that's it for made in asia for today for this weekend honestly it's been a, it's been a great con and i definitely definitely recommend you going next year as well if you have the chance 
the vibes are great a bit more of a of a cozy con compared to Dutch Comic Con great food and just a lot of fun overall before we go I want to show you my loot of course can't go to a to a convention and, and not spend money so first of all I'm back I got myself part two of solo leveling in color already bought part one at last DCC so now I got part two slowly gonna complete the collection as they come out it's gonna be an expensive collection but I really like the story I like re and I love the art so I think this one I uh, I want to do also bought a sticker but that's all packed up right now I'll show you my uh, my notepad that I'm sticking full on screen throw a picture of that on screen Let's put this away Okio Got some stickers for that as well. I bought a t-shirt. It's got a doge on the pocket. This is difficult with one hand. <laughs> a doge on the breast pocket. Just a black t-shirt. It's not like dark dark black, but yeah. No off-color pocket with a doge on it. I think that's cute. So I bought it. Impulse purchase at the last second. But I like it. And then finally we bought some gamer juice. Naruto themed G Fuel. I saw this. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. I like the can. I'm gonna keep that. And uh yeah, yeah. Sage mode energy drink. Naruto G Fuel for the real gamer times. So yeah, there's my loot. Compared to Dutch Comic Con, it's uh, it's a bit smaller, especially on the artist alley, the the merch hall. But still, some uh, some good options and some some fun merch to buy. So that's gonna be it for me today. I'm gonna start driving. I'm gonna take off the wig, take off the cosplay, and uh, go start driving back home. I'll probably get some food on the way. Quick uh, quick McDrive or something. To, uh, to fuel the rest but uh, other than that already stocked up on plenty of food inside of course as you uh, as you saw but uh, yeah it's been uh, it's been a good weekend I've had a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed my vlog it's been a while since I vlogged remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more cosplay vlogs in the future going to uh, DCC in the summer that's gonna be end of June and I'll see if I can uh, find something to vlog about in the meantime. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It's been your boy, Long Long Man, Long Long Cosplay. See you later. Bye bye.